I'm alive. It's alive. It's alive. What is up, YouTube? NWN here, also known as the Honorable Black Okage, whom's village is hidden in the Chronicles, and welcome back to it. Game from Steam. Now, in case you don't know, this is a show where we debunk the myth that PC has no exclusive games. If you're unfamiliar with the format, first I give a brief description of the game, then I give you at least three things that I like and dislike about the game, then you decide whether or not the game is for you. Today's topic of discussion is a free to play title called The Mighty Quest for the Epic Loot. It's a free to play dungeon crawler that's currently in open beta, and here's what I think the game contains three different classes and they all feel different. There's a warrior class who specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the mage who specializes in spells, and the archer who specializes in distant combat, and you can switch between them anytime that you want. Nothing groundbreaking, but I can't complain about having choices. I'm a huge fan of the Torchlight series, so to go from that to this was a letdown being as it has no co-op. It makes the game feel lonely and the later dungeons feel impossible to get through because at times, without a partner in crime, it's just too damn hard. Later dungeons, you'll be fighting multiple bosses at once and you'll be wishing you had some help with you. You don't see voice acting work too often in these dungeon crawlers and especially these free to play games but this one has it and I'm not complaining. You get a nice tutorial at the start of the game explaining all the mechanics instead of having to read boring text and each class also talks and says silly things while you're playing the game so I can appreciate that attention to detail. For the most part the camera gets the job done but on occasion fights will get really heated and something will be blocking your view while you're running away. Unfortunately you don't have full control over the camera. It only gives you the option to spin the camera using their preset to they have on the keyboard which often solves nothing and it leaves you having blind spots. The game has plenty of different abilities to mix and match from fireballs, dark spells, wild physical attacks, using pets, all these cool abilities to choose from and they keep the combat interesting. But what good is having all these abilities if you only have four ability slots? You actually have five but one has to go to potions unless you just want to constantly die so that leaves you with four. What good is giving me all these abilities if I can't try them out? From my understanding it's to keep the game balanced but all it does is create frustration. Most of these type of games give you 8 to 10 hotkeys. This game is a single player only game and you only get to use 4 abilities so that often leads to the game feeling difficult because you can't use your other abilities thus you feel underpowered. The game's dungeons have traps in them that keeps things hectic. You can get hit by traps, trapped in traps, slowed down by traps, all different types of things. This keeps the combat interesting because half the time you'll be bobbing and weaving through them while you're fighting so it keeps you on your P's and Q's. These type of games are all about looting, looting, and more looting. Problem with this game is it doesn't allow you to manage your inventory on the fly. If you're in a dungeon and your inventory is full, then a boss drops an amazing piece of armor or some type of item, then tough luck man, cause you ain't picking it up. This is a terrible design choice because it's unfair. I should be able to drop stuff on the fly like every other dungeon crawler. The game looks good for a free to play game, it doesn't blow me away but it's cool. I mean, that's all I got to say about the graphics. <laughs> This is a big no-no. The game is always online, which I don't understand because it's a single-player game. It's like the devs didn't pay attention to what happened to Diablo 3. I actually didn't even know it was always online at first. I found out the hard way. This is how I found out. Aww. So there you have it folks, I said I'd give you at least 3 things that I like and dislike about the game and I gave you 5. Take a look at the pros and cons and you decide whether or not this game is for you. Keep in mind that this game is still in beta at the time this video was made so things are subject to change. If the game does interest you though, I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can download it. And if you found the video helpful or at least entertaining, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, you know all that bullshit. I'd like to thank you for watching but y'all already know, my city needs.